Now that we have some more pictures of the Delta variant of Aptera, I want to go over these a little closer with you. Uh, I want to start with the rear hatch photo. This is from Jason Hill's uh, LinkedIn page. And there's this is the original post, but there was one interesting comment. This is one of the board members, Brian Snow. He said, this is the underside of the rear hatch. Is the mirror image of the solar panel on the top of the hatch. But this portion is made from carbon fiber and has a beautiful detail that shows off the carbon fiber's natural glow. And it is really pretty. It's really fun to see the, the carbon fiber strands in there. And it seems like this, I would assume these are Probably mounting points, these parts here, these little circles. I would think those would be mounting points for the rear solar. As you can kind of see the, the white body. So if you look at this, this is kind of the white carbon fiber. So you kind of see that on the side there. Very interesting, very pretty. This might just be another mounting point. It's interesting how they're having this. I wonder if this helps with some of maybe the, like a gap underneath the solar panels that kind of help give some dissipation for heat. I don't know, let me know your thoughts on that. So there's that kind of different view of, it's like this is a bigger exhaust for the air coming out of the cabin, coming out of the heating and cooling system for the, the batteries, HVAC, uh, the motors can all be exhausted through here. And you know, of course the Tesla port, this is a single LED. And it seems like they're making the solar, as I was thinking, go all the way to the back, making all the space available for solar panels, which is really nice to see. So I would think, you know, like the knocked open, this would pop open. So they're, this might be the bottom of it here and then you lift it up is my thought. And then you can still see there's a backup camera and then there's some of the I don't think this is the carbon fiber, but it could be, or it could be that um, that foam material, low impact resistant foam. And that's the rear brake light, and it looks like pretty sure that's going to be a backup camera. So we'll have two, one higher up. And this will probably be like for backing up, get a better view of what's really close behind you. And this, you can kind of see how the wheel covers attach some mounting points. So it looks like there's going to be two here. Some looks like three main points, possibly. It's hard to tell. There's like an under view as well. Well, it's going to stay here for a second. So there's the wheel cover looks like one, two, three four, five, six. It's hard to tell that as that might be another seventh, but the wheel covers look to be very, very steady. They're not gonna, the shake can be very, very solid. I just love how simple this is. The, so this body underneath is from the interview with Altera's owner club, it's Jason Hill said that this is uh, aluminum. So 
So there's the, the rear tire, rear suspension. Removing, just removing as much material as they can, but still making it strong, which is encouraging less weight. Same thing there, the battery structural pack will go in there. And this is the more or less the front kind of bumper. All the electronics main, most of the electronics will, supporting electronics will go in here. Cooling, coolant, and whatnot. So it looks like it'll be a strong and light body. And the shocks. So if we go back to this. So there's a different mounting point for the, the door. And then there's gonna be the glow logo there. I'm kind of wondering if the glass hatch will all go all the way to the back or if it will kind of stop around here. It's kind of unclear. We can kind of see everything's put together. I really love the look of the white. I really wouldn't mind it looking just like that, but he did say, or Chris did say that's what it would be wrapped. So pretty interesting stuff. I mentioned in my last video, this kind of shows an updated beefier hinge for the door. And this is, this layout is just a little bit different. As far as the cut lines go, just a little different. And that's really the main thing I see that's different in this. I mentioned last month that they were getting rid of this front logo and it is gone. So that's kind of how it would look. It looks fine like that. Just love the side logos. And I mentioned this is from the interview. So the horn by Regulatory stuff, there has to be an icon, so that's a big ugly icon for the horn, which is unfortunate. And then just the up and down for the music. And everything else in here looks pretty similar to what we saw in Gamma in person. And I think these things will, will change. This just looks so well engineered, no doubt. Well, of course, um, Sandy Monroe and Associates have impacted this car in a very big way, and you can you can tell it's just very elegant engineering. And that's some people have kind of wondered why there's like the traditional like transmission tunnel look for this center, and it looks like. I think they might use this like for running wires and coolant down the middle of the car. And that's kind of what this seems like it's for. Let's run all the wires to the rear motor and if it's all wheel drive. So I think it's just more of a channel to run things. And then the, so this is aluminum. This is the carbon fiber body sitting on top. When I had my chat with Anusha at, in San Diego, she mentioned with composites, like when they have to basically bolt it to something else that there would be, this isn't really clear enough to really see it up, up close, but there's, they would put like a metal insert around where the bolt would be. So there, the pressure would be kind of distributed and not directly clamp 
onto the carbon fiber itself because it would it wouldn't handle that well. So there's going to be either it's not clear. Oh, she said it could be embedded in the composite, so that's more challenging to do. I don't know how CBC will do it, but it might just be like a something you can put on top and then bolt it. Um, that'd be interesting to ask her um, about that later. Or if we get better, clearer, like high resolution photos, we can actually see how that is. It's not clear. I kind of see some lighter color, so it might just be on top. And just a different view. And the side mirrors, I'm hoping that these mirrors are kind of or I hope that the mirrors and the cameras are able to be basically separated. So if you don't want to have the camera and just want, if you don't want the side mirror and just want the camera that you can do that, like they're, I hope they're designed to kind of be modular, so to speak. So you can have less drag and just rely on the cameras, which when I sat in it, this was very easy to see and you would get used to that very quickly and then you'd probably never really ever look at these. So I hope the laws change so those can be implemented on not just out there for all, all EVs. A different view of the shell in the rear a bit more. Okay, here's the carbon fiber. So here's some of the mounting holes, like for the for the door. No, it's hard. I don't see any metal inserts, so I wonder if it's embedded directly in the composite. Well, it's really pretty with this two tone. And the last thing is this was kind of updated Delta render. And they're going really with that two-tone effect. And it really enhances the lines of Aptera a lot. I really like it. So it seems like either if it's going to be Sol, Luna, or Noir, this would, Noir would obviously all be blacked out, but seem like the only colors change would be the wheel covers in this kind of middle strip area. It's a really elegant look. Yeah, let me know if you see anything else that kind of popped out at you. We're going to be getting more kind of constant drips of Delta information this month. So definitely, I think they have a lot of videos recorded. They're just kind of slowly editing them. So we'll see a lot this month for no doubt. So I'm excited. And let me know if you spotted something I missed with these photos. Catch you next time.